Hmm, is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to Species version 0 0.8.0 0 alpha. So the game has just been updated and I'm very uh, excited to keep on playing. For those of you who don't know, Species is an artificial life real evolution simulator which uh, is a very, very cute and simple in design but uh, very complicated and it tries in a sort of... Uh, Gameish, but uh, also kind of a uh, realistic style to imitate the way like uh, evolution occurs in real life. And uh, yeah, it just got updated with like more, um, I believe like these modifiers are new, like uh, more um, AI for the creatures and uh, possibly more uh, things about the environment have been uh, also updated. If I remember correctly, you can uh, uh, slope gradient. Huh? Yeah, right now you can also see how the map over here like uh, morphs around as you change the slope gradient. And yeah, I'm very excited to keep on playing it. I've been playing uh, every update for the past uh, um, two updates. And it's a very interesting game. I'm going to start again with a blank state as always. I think the map is uh, pretty generic, this, uh, this one. I'm not sure if I should try for like a uh, uh, different kind of map. Maybe... Uh, uh, lake is pretty good, I suppose. I was thinking, like, maybe make a f completely flat one for the purpose of, like, uh, to have more terrain, but uh, this one is pretty good. And we can uh, change uh, the slope terrain, we can make it, like, entirely flat. Oh my god, it looks so good. A uh, very important thing with alphas is to, uh, to, like, you know, you can meddle around with all these customizable options and, uh, it's pretty important because, uh, you must test out how it works. Average temperature. Um, I suppose all these things are okay. Creature cap, 1,500. This thing also includes corpses, tree growth rate, forest density, um, uh, mutation rate. Here, here's something that we're going to do different. We're going to, like, bump up the mutation rate, like, like a lot. This might be a bit high. <laughs> so it now actually adds, like, warnings. Uh, that, that's pretty cool about the game. I wonder if, like, it does uh, things, uh, for the other ones. Uh, let's also increase like meat efficiency. So like the creatures will like get more energy from meat. And we're going to make them like pure carnivores. And maybe a little bit more from tree efficiency. And the grazing will be like the least. You can also like change uh, these are new things. Like the speed, stamina, damage, aging rate, temperature loss. Hmm. Might be interesting to go around with them. So what I'm going to plan for this one, we're going to like pump up the mutation rate, but at the same time we're going to increase the breeding genetic range. So what it uh, will happen is that they will mutate a lot, but at the same time they'll be also be able to like breed with uh, members of different species. Like uh, uh, for um, it explains over here, like the genetic distance a creature can uh, be from another while still allowing them to mate. Uh, this also happens in real life. I mean, there are uh, animals from the same family, but different species, which can uh, be mated. Like, uh, I believe they tried with, like, lion and tiger, and they obtained the liger. The problem is that the species that are obtained afterwards are, like, uh, in their sterile, so they cannot really survive and uh, do anything afterwards. But, yeah, it should be pretty interesting. So let's generate and see what um, what new things there are. We pumped. And here we are! Wow, new music! Wow, it looks so good. Man, I've missed playing this. Look at it up close. These are our starting creatures. Wow, I also added like new things about uh, it. We can now see their hunger, their anger. That's a new thing. So yeah, they have uh, added more uh, behavioral uh, things. Fatigue, okay. Fear and discomfort. Uh, I see. Those will be interesting to fiddle around with. Oh, look at that. This one is uh, attentive. There, It has like an exclamation mark. Uh, it goes to water. Oh, that's so cute. Has maximum energy. They're not hungry. They're like, uh, what, eating grass right now? Hey, they have added new animations for that. Look at that, just putting their head up and down. They might as well be listening to the music. Whoa, now they grew. Look at that. Ah, sniff, they smelt around. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, 
So yeah, this is how the game starts. Apparently they have added a lot of like uh, behavioral mechanics. You can now see where like their target, you can see like different kinds of things that they're doing. Oh, I think this one is looking to mate. Oh, uh, we can see the target. Target in sight. Approaching. Permission to engage, over. And yep, it is happening. And uh, these kids is how babies are made. And afterwards, I'm just going to go and consume this tree. Uh, the mating is still like um, not completely mapped out. I mean, it just appears like they mate, and suddenly, like a smaller creature just pops out of nowhere. All right, walk to hot location. It actually, says what they do, and we can also start like genetically engineer them. Uh, let's see if this. Uh, yeah, we can. We can actually like change uh, their. Uh, uh actual aspects like even limb neck head uh all right well that's pretty interesting although the problem is creator editor was created for Duke bug and development purposes and is not planned for feature to be featured in final release yeah that's a thing also the thing is that if you genetically engineer them too much then they might not be able to survive you know because they have like two uh much uh, like differences to adapt to their environment all right so the creatures are like growing i'm going to go for full speed because i already know the game you can see a satellite map oh right that's uh, much better to have all of these things like over here the cloud diagram we already have a minor species and another minor species holy crap this must have been a bad mutation album uh, specium uh can i see this on the map uh please oh my god we're getting some really crazy mutations already it would be good if you could like um if you would could like hover like if you'd like choose a species it would show you one on the map but apparently this hasn't really added it so you just have to like look for them and hope that you find them oh my god look at them well it didn't take long to find them holy shit so so much lag all right well um the the mutation was indeed a big high. I, I'm going to give them that, but uh, hey, they're doing something. Holy shit! That just he just devoured the freaking. They're freaking. Oh my god! This this is getting scary. They're just in, just they're just eating each other. But the uh, the new animations are pretty cool, so I'm gonna give them that. Holy crap! They're huge. Look at that! They already have teeth. They already have, I'm not sure if they'll survive, considering like, but I also give them like huge breeding range. So even though they mutate a lot from their uh, origin species, they can still breed with uh, members of uh, close-up species. So uh, yeah, they can still survive. Wow, look at that. They have changed quite dramatically. And yeah, the thing is still uh, going up. So uh, this should be interesting. How's the cloud diagram looking? Yeah, we still we are apparently getting some new things. Primus specium is still the dominant species, which has the most members. But uh, yeah, it appears that Primum spotium is starting to breed some members. Already have an extinct race. So for those of you who don't know, like uh, this uh, this game tries to simulate evolution, and it obviously does it way way faster than in real life so that uh, you can see differences from just one or two generations except for like instead of like uh, thousands of generations like in real life hey new music all right well this is getting pretty cool color coding mm, not really interested in that details and statistics we already know that and uh, yeah we can like uh, let's see if we can fence off some of the species around and like create some unique conditions from them for them. Alright, uh, I forgot how this works. Click this button to build a fence. This is what I'm trying to do. Alright, there we go. There we go. Ah. There we go. I'm trying to build a fence. God damn, the game is getting like really freaking laggy. Alright, there you go. This is going to be a long fence area. And it goes from over here. Apparently, like, it doesn't... Oh, it is because we, like, reached the population cap, so that's why it's getting, like, really freaking laggy. Okay, come on. Ah! We can build this freaking fence already. What the 
of saving fairly well. There you go. Now they're fenced off and now we can do some very horrific experiments on them. I don't think they'll survive. But you know, that's what the feeding option is for. Uh, there you go. Oh, all of you grow, my children. Ah. Grow, my children. Right? This is getting like pretty fucking creepy. Look at these fucking things. Oh, it just popped out of existence. They're just dying off. Jesus. Alright, well, uh, they are clearly overpopulating the field, so let's just increase the average globe temperature. That should take care of everything. Uh, warm temperature, there you go. A few more degrees should pretty much take care of everything. And we can see how the deserts are forming. And uh, very shortly they will uh, start dying off. Wow, I'm getting like 6 frames per second. And I'm not even like running at full speed, I don't even want to see how... Whoa! Yeah, 3 frames per second. But hey, the population is starting to drop off. So, uh, two frames per second, this is freaking ridiculous. Okay, okay, we're starting to get over a little bit over here. It's important to, like, not to raise the temperature too high up, so, like, allow them to, like, grow some adaptations for the new, uh, for the new higher temperature. But as you can see, they are migrating towards the water, so, uh, yeah, they're getting smarter. What can I say? They're not staying, like, in the middle of the desert. Um... What the fuck? This is just a giant clusterfuck. This reminds me of my, of like my um when I went to the beach like uh, during summer. That's just like uh, everyone is just like staying in the water and it's just like a giant mess. Look at this! It already grew a tail. Look at that uh, creature. What was it called? Uh, species selection mode. There you go. We can see like all the members of the same species. Apparently, all of these are member of the same species, really? Um, uh, there must be something wrong. Just don't get it. No, they're still staying around here as well, also. Thoughts are shown. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, -ho. look at them growing legs. Got a satellite map. Yeah, Prime of Swissham is still a dominant species. It's interesting that. A lot of species breed out of it, but as you can see, they do not manage to survive for long. And uh, yeah, that's also a factor of evolution. Uh, I think we can see them like over here if we uh, hover around there. Look at that. Oh my god, they're just freaking terrifying. Uh, right. Yeah, this is a part of the game. I think I mentioned it a few versions before that you can like create the most horrific freaking scenes ever and you can just like like go like oh my god what have I done all right well um things are getting pretty interesting the music um well not really that great but I suppose it's still um uh, there are many moments of silence so you know it should be it should have like a button so you can like uh, choose when to play or what the fuck is going on here fucking caught fire look at that they just like invent fire Hello? Guys! They are getting smarter! It's a new evolution! These are the new humans! Oh, no, it just died. Alright. Well, uh, I suppose like the temperature is like too hot and they're just spontaneously combusting. I don't know if that's possible. I, I heard that it's possible for in certain like cer in circumstances, but uh, I really did not expect. Maybe it's just a glitch, a graphical glitch. Yeah, let's uh, further raise the temperature, and obviously that nothing survive over here. What the fuck is that thing? Holy moly! All right. Well, let's um. How about we make this thing? Um, didn't this button like feed them? There you go. Alright, we're going to feed them to full energy, and what we're going to do, we're going to grab them and put them over here. Oh, sorry, I meant to drop you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just keeping it in there. Well, why is it, like, catching flames? I suppose the environment is, like, too hot. If I, like, go and select, we can see... Uh, 
and it's not really that hot. I mean, it's like 30 degrees over here where, where it's like the desert. So I think it's still a bearable temperature. Look at this guy getting like all fancy up in this biatch. Wow, they are seriously just combusting everywhere. I suppose the temperature is really too hot. I heard that or they just like learn to play with fire. Look at this. Sniff sniff. <laughs> Alright, pretty interesting, pretty interesting, not going to lie, the game is getting better and better with every passing. Oh, I, I lied, the temperature over here is like 36 degrees Celsius, so uh, yeah, it is kind of hot. You can see like if you like go over the place, it can show you what temperature there is. It's like 20 degrees like near water, so it's very, very hot. Let's check out our species, how they're doing. Still Primal Spitium, like the dominant species. Yep. Auto saving, and uh, let's check out the plot diagram. We can see over here how the how the minor species have developed out of it. Look at that, and we can also check out all the fossils. Mm. Now uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, play a little bit with the rovers. So let's just like build the most carnivorous, aggressive population ever. So what we're going to do is we are going to feed population, and we are going to feed creatures with high statistics uh, in... Um, where was it? In... With high statistics in uh, attack damage. We're going to add another one that also feeds... Oh my god, it's getting so laggy again. Creatures with high statistics in... Uh, mm, oh, la look at that, eyesight. That's pretty interesting, with high statistic in aggression. There's also laziness, we can make like the most... We can make sloths. And high statistics in... Like something what's like specific for like... Uh, being uh, aggressive, like something like uh, like teeth or something, limb, chest, childhood length. Mm. You can like mill around with everything, and you can obtain like very specific species, which is very interesting. Um, head damage, head growth cost, head base, head size. Um, uh, yeah, I suppose head base, head size is good. Alright, and yeah, now um, well, we are back to 6 frames per second. They have started to like, I think they like started to develop uh, resistance to this high temperature, or pretty much they all moved. Uh, what I can do over here is just like create a climate control device uh, with a, just a gigantic temperature and put it over here and see how everybody just runs away from it. Value between one, uh, 0 and 1 representing the uh, fertility that it will emit. And we can go up to like freaking 20. Alright, well. Uh, there you go. And this will create something. Or it will pretty much just kill everyone in the vicinity. Yeah, I think that I should have put it at 1. Oh my god! They're just bursting in flames! <laughs> All right, that was pretty freaking creepy and terrifying. But yeah, these are these are new effects. Pretty freaking cool. All right, well I just murdered a bunch of freaking animals on this uh, wide area. But yeah, I reduced the population by like a hundred, so uh, no more lag. Almost. Hmm. I wonder how um. How the species will grow with the three active rovers going around. Um, should we leave this thing over here? It's, it's really freaking disturbing. Ah, fuck it, let's just do it. Going on full speed, going to like two frames per second. Uh, it seems to like expand the area of effect. I will eventually reach a limit. Alright, a thousand creatures. Yeah, I think I should have made the cap a little bit smaller. Ah, oh, they seem to be dying off. I suppose that the uh, rover is uh, it's the rover effect because it's feeding like only the creatures that uh, have those certain traits that we have established and therefore it's creating a disproportionate uh, uh, it's creating like a sort of artificial selection 
and therefore creatures that do not uh, have the desired traits will uh, be more likely to die off. Look at them migrating around, that's pretty cool. What the fuck I've done over here? Oh my god, look at the freaking smoke clouds coming out of it. Speaking about global warming. Uh, okay. Well, 300 creatures is much more manageable. I can get 30 frames without any problems. And uh, yeah, we are... My god, are they aggressive. Jesus fucking Christ, look at them plying, plowing all over them. Um, let's check it out, man. Let's check them out. So, Prime of Specium, we can see as their uh, attack damage is increasing. We can see how it's starting to morph. I guess this is how the general species looks like, but it doesn't count for each and every individual. I suppose that's the idea. But yeah, look at we look at this guy with 16 attack damage. Okay, whoa, 22. Yeah, he just freaking punches you with this giant hammer in the back. And uh, we're also getting some weird 80 free attack damage. What the fuck is this thing? I want to see it. Uh, I cannot really. But uh, yeah. Hey, back to a really cool music over here. My god, what the fuck is this? Guys, can you just freaking move around? Don't stay in one place? Right, let's uh... I don't even need to lower the temperature. Look at that, they're just growing back to a thousand. With all the things that I'm doing. I think we are creating global warming due to this climate changing device. Let's get rid of it. Too much pollution. And... Uh, we're back to 2 frames per second. Let me just reduce the speed a little bit. Alright, that's sort of more manageable. Okay. Well, good to know for those who also want it. The game is still free because it's in alpha, so if you want to pick it up, you can totally do that. But uh, remember, uh, this rover just got stuck over here. Dude. Um, which one is it? Well, practice, theory, investigator. You can also, like, name them or whatever. Oh my god, it's, uh, this is just embarrassing. Hmm. Holy shit. What the fuck? This thing is freaking gigantic. My god. Um, okay. Yeah, the, the, the mutation rate was indeed a bit high. Look at these guys though, they look like dinosaurs. They literally are gigantic. My god. Well, they seem to be carnivorous, mostly. <laughs> and they're back to a thousand population. My guess is that the thousand is pretty much over here. Because there are just so many creatures that they cannot render all of them. Um, how do you create an atom bomb in this game? Um, uh, ah, fuck it. There you go. Climate uh, device, target value 4. Nope. This will uh, be a fire show. Uh, oh my god. Burn! Burn! They're just not running away. Damn, they're stupid. They're just strong and stupid. That's what I've created. I don't think you can like make the rover that can affect its intelligence. Oh my god, I just murdered 900 species. Okay, uh, you can delete this now. Plop. Alright, well, this brought the population under control. Um, so, uh, what do we have? We no longer have... Oh, we still have Primum Specium. Just look at how freaking awkward it looks now. Uh, we have a lot of new species, including like a Primum Spegatus, which uh, is now uh, the dominant species, together with the Primum Lechium. We can check out the Claude diagram. There, there's no longer a dominant species, actually. There are two major species, which are pri Primum Le Lecetium and Primum Spegatus, with equal number of members, which is 25, which is pretty poor. And the, with 25 members, you can easily go extinct. But not in this game. They'll probably just uh, leave to repopulate the Earth, or like the map.
Oh my god, it's cool. look at how all these uh, new effects, they are very cool. And yeah, I believe uh, the rovers should have pretty much made their effect. Okay, I don't understand how they're going through. Oh, my fence is like completely busted over here. Well, balls. But yeah, they should have increased like their attack damage, like aggressiveness. Let's like check a random creature. I don't have like the uh, the how they were at the beginning, but we can check one for now and we can see like its stats. Oh, uh, don't die. Uh, let's pick one that's like more alive. Anger. Hmm, doesn't have anger right now. Fear. Um, but we can check like uh, what's it called? Number of features. Amorousness, empathy, motivation. Quite a lot of motivation actually. Cowardice, wrath. My guys, very interesting how they he added like all this. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, God damn it, my brain cannot think of this. Like all these emotions, you know. Hmm. Yeah, the wrath seems to be pretty high combined with uh, huge motivation. But I also have good empathy, so I I don't think they should be too aggressive, technically. They are just going to murder each other right now. Or mate. Or both. Oh, look at that! It's like shouting a cry of... Uh... Yeah, it's like... Sh it's angry and it's shouting like a cry of warning. To drive off, drive off the target. That is so freaking cool. That's something new. Interesting, interesting. One half of the flight or flight they caught on the agriculture will lash out in an attempt to drive away the threat. And there's the other half, the fear. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, um, yeah, this has been uh, pretty much the new update of uh, Species Alre. Hope you guys... Uh, well, one guy just wants to migrate all across the field. Well, uh, good luck with that. Oh, well, you know, we can, how about we genetically engineer some of them? Um, let's, uh, let's make it like really freaking, uh, let's like raise their wrath value. All the freaking way. We can make them the, make them an evil genius. Alright, that uh, should be well. Tafo Armones spam. Yeah. Um, where is it? Look at that, Primum Spishem still exists with 31 members. This is also like proves that uh, despite all the harsh things that can happen, uh, species can still like evolve to survive, even in the worst conditions. Alright, let's uh, delete the rovers, because we already seen them in effect. We want to leave the creatures to survive on their own for now. No more feeding by the rovers. And yeah, as you can see, uh, now they have to adapt without the rovers. But until now, the rovers was feeding everyone that was aggressive and uh, had huge base damage. And now that they're no longer feeding them, they have to like do that on their own, which uh, pretty much means that uh, they have to like hunt and kill the others. <laughs> Uh, more uh, creatures to seek out a genetically compatible mate to do sexy with. Uh, still gotta be a game, huh? Because why the hell would you like to put like actual uh, uh, proper wording into it? Wow, them are just freaking gigantic and giant tails and everything. I wonder if they'll survive. Uh, it seems to be... Uh, it's like reaching a point of equilibrium. Wow, the temperature is like gigantic. Uh, let's lower it. Temperature cooling. Let's do an ice age. 50 degrees Celsius. This is freaking ridiculous. Alright. Let's uh, create the ice age and just freaking make uh, everyone extinct with it. 40... 20 degrees Celsius, yeah, get going from like, uh, f from like, uh, f 5, 50 degrees Celsius to like 10 is a very quick way of just killing everything. I have like 6 species left, and I don't think they'll survive. Not without help. Where are you? I'm going to help you to survive. Don't die on me. 
on, but I on me, damn it! I'm going to feed you and like revive your uh whatever. There you go. Yeah, but at this point, like there are so few that they cannot really do much. Even if we like revert the temperature to a reasonable level, they're just too few to like. Uh, reproduce. Ah, it was starting to snow actually. Three of them. Can they make it? Can they make it back? Can uh, the will to survive be stronger than the environment? Only one guy left. Nah, he's not going to make it. Um, I don't think so. He's just going to uh, run out of energy eventually. And he's died. He's dead. Yeah. This is pretty much it. We are out of species, and I, I, I think I might have forgot to like put the, 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 the options like for the game to end when the, you reach extinction. But this is pretty much uh, what happens. Let's go for maximum cool temperature because I wanted to see the snow effects one more time. Oh, look at that! That is so cool. And the trees actually die off, or they become like uh, pine trees, which are more uh, suitable for uh, the environment. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have to say that the game is getting better and better. Can't wait to see the next update. And um, yeah, if you can like donate right now for like, uh, oh, this thing is still here. Thought I removed it. <laughs> just creating like 60 degrees Celsius. Just imagine like crossing between these two areas. You have like minus 18 over here and 60 over here. It's just going to be like, it, it literally like kills you to like have such a gigantic temperature difference but anyway this has been pretty much uh, species already hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching uh, get, uh, grab the game for uh, uh, right now as uh, it's still free and uh, you can meddle around with all the uh, options all you want or uh, you know you can also uh, donate for like 10 bucks and you'll have the full game once it's released like uh, yeah uh, the thing is that it will cost money once it's fully done. But right now it's free, so grab it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.